here in the Delaware and Lehigh Valleys. A chilly and breezy night. Eyewitness News catching the folks at 15th and JFK this evening. We may, may need to keep an umbrella handy as we start the work week. Meteorologist Lauren Casey here now. A couple of ticks before Monday morning on a very late Sunday night here. A late Sunday night indeed, and it certainly was a cool end to the weekend. Our high temperature, the coolest since last April in Philadelphia, 52 degrees. Didn't make it out of the 40s in the Poconos, barely did in the Lehigh Valley and northwestern suburbs. High temperature in AC, only 53 degrees, and we will be milder tomorrow. Temperatures returning closer to average, but our average is now low to mid 60s. Also talking about tropical storm Zeta right now in the Caribbean, but by Thursday, the remnants are going to be in our neck of the woods, but all of that clears out just in time. Looks like for Halloween, looks like we'll have a dry and crisp one in store, but getting a live look at Center City, Philadelphia, that fog is settling in, obscuring the skyline right now and reducing our visibilities and temperatures. They are definitely chilly. 48 right now in Philly, 44 in Allentown, 30s on the board in the Poconos with some rain coming down. Yuck, just a gross Sunday evening. We also have that northwesterly wind flow breeze up there with some higher gusts as well. So adding that wind chill component with that easterly damp wind. Storm scan 3 showing us. We've been dealing with some light patchy showers, some light rain moving through throughout the day. Oh, we're starting to see this area blossom or re-blossom over portions of Delaware. And as we head into the overnight, period. We will see these kind of scattered areas of light rain continuing to diverse the area and also the visibilities will continue to go down. Visibility now down to about three miles in Mount Pocono, eight mile visibility currently in Philadelphia. And overnight tonight we're dropping back into the 40s with those areas of drizzle still breezy at times. And then for our day tomorrow, high temperatures rebound a bit. We're up to 64 degrees with some patchy morning drizzle and then some models indicating we could see some breaks of sunshine as we head into the the afternoon, so I'll go with that more optimistic forecast. Tropical storm Zeta right now is positioned in the Caribbean. We'll move over the Yucatan Peninsula as we head into Monday as a Category 1 hurricane moving out into the Gulf of Mexico and then another landfall for the U.S. Gulf Coast as we head into the upcoming week on Wednesday, likely near New Orleans as a Category 1 hurricane and then will dissipate, turn extra tropical, but will bring us some tropical moisture as we head into Thursday. But in your seven-day forecast, we stay in the middle 60s with just some spotty showers over the next couple of days. Wednesday looks like our dry day. And as we head into Thursday and Friday, could be a wet one. Stay tuned to that evolving forecast. Halloween, as I mentioned, looks great. And then as we head towards Saturday night, early Sunday morning, there it is. Fall back. It's no. upon us. <laughs> Sunset time, this time next Sunday. Know yeah. what it is? No. 4.57? <laughs> Missy. <Don> <laughs> I'll, I'll leave now. Don's going somewhere. <laughs> Take us with you, Don. 445. <laughs> Don's going.